Hi everyone, it's Kasia from Tarot Map and today I will speak about Orasoma Tarot. So as you know, um, Orasoma is a system of vibrational medicine, vibrational healing, which is based on color. And uh, basically these are the bottles which you can like use for yourself, which carry the frequency of certain color and also they made from crystal essences, from plant essences, they smell beautifully and uh, the mixture of oily and alcohol based solutions and you just mix them together to create sometimes another color like this one is from the same color so you can see it but it makes those beautiful bubbles and you put uh, this oil, uh, this mixture on your body on different parts, like this one would be mostly around the expression, so around the throat, throat chakra and um, a few different points wherever also you feel guided to. This bottle actually belongs to Ace of Cups, so that's the bottle number 50, which is pale blue over pale blue. And that's the Ascended Master El Moria, but I really fell in love with this card. How amazing is it? And basically this bottle encourages you to trust the higher will, you know, and to um, have this ability to not go into fear, but trust that there is also a bigger picture, which you sometimes might, might not see, to receive and be open as a channel to this divine will and just let go of your control and trying to you know hold on stuff too too tightly and as you can see also like caring for the earth and caring for that which we see around us so um, as a system this is quite a um, Com complex system actually it's simple and complex there's quite a lot of like 114 bottle combinations uh, with different colors and there's a whole um, a system to it which describes what the colors mean uh, how the energy bodies is um, seen by Orasoma specifically and so on and so forth. So I'm kind of le uh, learning about this right now. I'm reading uh, some books. So I've got the tarot book which um, speaks more about tarot cards but also in the uh, like Orasoma uh, stand uh, point of view. I've got this Orasoma source book which describes most of the bottles. Not all of them because they keep growing but um, these are the bottles, so they look gorgeous. And uh, I've got this book, Orasoma Healing Through Color, Plant and Crystal Energy, uh, which also doesn't have all the bottles, but quite a lot of information uh, on the energies of the certain bottle. And there is something which you do when you have an Orasoma consultation. You pick four bottles which you like, um, and uh, the then when you pick the bottles, uh, the first bottle, it's called your soul bottle. And uh, this bottle you can either pick via, you know, like your intuition and what you really feel drawn to, or it can be designed or like chosen by numerological uh, connotation of your birth date. And to be honest, I noticed since uh, maybe I've been playing with Orasoma for... I had a break because I, I knew about this system before, but recently I think it's been a few months uh, since I got really interested in it and read a lot and stuff like this. But I noticed it's a little bit like with our aura, you know, you're, uh, you're drawn to different colors all the time and you're drawn to different bottles and you're drawn to depends on the day you want to change your soul bottle because you know two days ago I loved pink but right now I'm only into purple and blue you know it's just I noticed um, maybe it's just me but I'm quite changeable when it comes to choosing the soul bottle and it's quite hard for me to actually get set only on one bottle I did notice that this bottle 
uh, El Moria, so the Ace of Cups, the one which I bought, number 50, comes up nearly every time when I'm picking the four bottles. So I thought I definitely want to try and take it and see if it creates any shift. Um, and this is from the Farbender Engel, the Oracle deck. But look at the change of tone. Like this one is more like turquoise. I would feel it suits more the Maha Kohan bottle, but definitely it's number 50. But the tone of the card is totally different. It's not blue, it's more turquoisey. So I was a bit surprised with this one, like it doesn't seem right. Um, so this bottle is definitely one of the bottles which I'm really drawn to. Another one is and the Hierophant Return. I love this card, but I also love the colors. This is actually not orange as you would think. This is gold in Orasoma. It's a very specific and very potent color. And turquoise It's one of the minor chakras here in the chest area. And it's Mm, the turquoise and gold so this color is beautiful and actually when you see it here it's also gorgeous so this card is definitely a part of my four cards but the soul bottle not too sure maybe <laughs> I also feel drawn to this one to temperance return which has like this um, coral and olive green color so I quite love this one and I think that's Gretel uh, bottle and uh, numerologically if you want to figure out your soul bottle you would add your date of birth so day month and year you add all the digits together and you come for example I was born 29 11 1975 so I add all the digits and the number which I get is 35 and usually in numerology you would add 3 and 5 and you will get 8 and 8 is like my life path number but in Orasoma system you will stay with 35 so if I chose my bottle based on numerology it would be bottle 35 which is pink and violet and um, it's called loving kindness I'm just checking the Orasoma book the tarot book so you can uh, see that uh, this is two of wands it's quite a beautiful picture and I do love pink and I do love violet so I might just stick with it and maybe take it and see if I notice any changes I love the eye um, I wanted to show you these two cards which I was drawn to and this is Devil Return, it also has an eye I find the track really beautiful and also the normal devil how gorgeous is this card there is this light above and they just cannot for any sake reach it um, so um, this card, Two of Wands. First of all, I do like it that it has wands. I'm a Sagittarius and I kind of, you know, I make wands. <laughs> I do like wands. So um, this card, this uh, bottle loving kindness seems quite, quite gorgeous. And I checked in this book what it says and it's about base and crown chakra which I already take um, I'm taking one bottle number 65 which is uh, head in the clouds feet on the ground so again the base and crown chakra it seems like I'm constantly my lesson is to you know align all the chakras and especially the top with the bottom and vice versa and the main theme of my bottle would be uh, getting closer to the spiritual through love which I also very very much like um, here the book describes the personality aspects which are positive and negative the negative uh, aspects or the aspects that could be worked on um, are that I, I can carry unresolved anger and frustration from childhood also that um, the persons who wish to help can be egoistical and I stand by that. Sometimes I am bloody egoistical 
or you know I just like to be in limelight <laughs> and listen to so hello uh, it's easily dominated not, not so much and has too much sensitivity and can easily fall into depression I agree to too much sensitivity but I'm mostly then the withdraw um, I'm not a depressive type but the positive personality aspects which this bottle uh, can help you embrace it exper experiences deep satisfaction through helping others, thereby helping oneself. Possesses the gift of healing, also of distant healing, that is healing someone who is not in the immediate vicinity. This person's thoughts are ruled by love. Uh, she is a gentle spiritual soul who is concerned about the welfare of humanity, is in connection with love from above and possesses self-confidence and strength. Um, it's a, a burnout syndrome bottle, so if you feel like you're helping too much, you can take this bottle, it will help you to regain your energy back. Protects from aggressive energy, revives mind and soul. It encourages self-acceptance and development of intuition, opens up to love, and makes old tapes unnecessary, so you know, something you keep repeating in your mind and helps the individual release over sensitivity and exaggerated love, breaks up old patterns of despair and enables person, the person to cope with disappointment. Useful with physical level, useful with problems during menopause, pain in the chest, headaches and insomnia, especially when caused by emotional problems, brings tenderness into sexuality. And affirmation is, in healing others, I heal myself and helpful in situations in which someone suffers physically. For example, if one is in pain, but no specific reason can be found. So this bottle, you know, it seems quite beautiful, they all do. And when I look at this book from the Tarot, it's about understanding the positive and negative aspects of yourself and how to use them. Being self-indulgent rather than just looking after yourself could lead to a sad demise. This has like a Lucifer, which apparently didn't want to serve humanity anymore, but there's a lot of controversy about Lucifer, so read up on Lucifer first, uh, before you buy into all the traditional meaning of it. The Eye of God is looking to you for a special mission and earn success. Um, so, you know, the only point in why I would be picking this bottle is that it has some kind of stability when it comes to choosing, because this is my birth date, it's kind of chosen for me in a way, but I believe in the synchronicity, like in astrology. So this would be my soul bottle, because otherwise, if I go for it via loving a bottle, I am very changeable, so it keeps changing all the time. If I connected the three and five together, I would get to eight, to justice, uh, which is my life path number. And it's yellow and blue. So um, you could probably choose between adding the numbers and not, but in the book they state to stay with the double digit when you pick your bottle. Mm, there's a few, it's a gorgeous deck. I will do a full walkthrough and I show you all the cards, but um, it also has Archangels, which I might not be using in tarot readings. I'm not sure. It just seems to be a lot to... Or sometimes they just don't fit when I, I was trying now with them. And sometimes I'm not too keen on Archangels and stuff. So sometimes I like, I just try to be right now very open-minded about uh, this Orasoma system. And I want to check it. So I, uh, even though I feel like judging it sometimes, I will stay open and check it and then make my informed decision for myself. Um, but um, the deck is gorgeous. It's really beautiful. And I want to show it to you in a different camera view so you can take a look. Um, so yes, this is my Orasoma Soul Bottle, number 35, a loving kindness. And may I be the loving kindness it speaks of. I speak to you soon and um, see you.